我们要去饺子了。我们要吃饺子啦！我们要吃饺子啦！我们要吃饺子啦！Welcome everybody to the foo. <laughs> so today uh, we're gonna do something kind of fun. Uh, we're at uh, my wife's family's house, and uh, we're gonna eat some food soon. We're gonna eat one of my favorites. Uh, you've probably heard of them, dumplings, huh? These aren't uh, the dumplings that uh, they have in uh, Kung Fu Panda. Those are called in Chinese baozi. Today we're gonna eat jiaozi. It's a different kind. It's kind of rolled up. It's cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you now. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how it's all made and uh, step by step. Right now, we're cutting the meat, so I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> hey, Bala. There's the meat getting cut. It was already cut once. I'll kind of show you right now the beginning of that. And here is the. Now they're gonna mince it very, very small. You gotta, gotta, gotta look nice. Gotta look the part. <laughs> ginger, a little, bit of, a little bit of ginger in there. Now it's going on the big one for the mix. So this process, he's folding over the meat, the vegetables, and cutting them all up, mincing them together, creating the filling, the inside parts of the uh, jiaozi. We've got production going on here. Different things being cut up. Celery getting cut up and this minced meat with vegetables is getting smaller and smaller. Well this looks kind of nice. It's all tiny compared to what we just saw, huh? Look at that. That was quick. That's how to do it. This is like a little mush that's going into the mixing bowl or whatever. What's that bowl for, Joss? Mixing, I was correct, okay. Woo! It comes off, it's all put together and mi minced together. Time to create the little dough wrappers that will contain the meat and the goodness. Slowly adding in the water. This is the final mixture that will go into the jowza. And here are the wrappers. The beginnings of the wrappers. The wrappers of the beginnings. I'm in love with the jowza. I know that's not what the guy said, but I, I prefer my version better. <laughs> so after considerable work, we now have a ball of dough. Let's see where that takes us. Now it's time to make the sauce. First step, cut a lot of garlic.
You see, in my opinion, and uh, I think many people in northern China, jiaozi without sauce is not jiaozi at all. This makes the flavor for the jiaozi. All right, so here it is. Time to actually make the jiaozi. Let's see the process. All right, so here we go. We got some dough. Put a little bit of flour on there. Got the, the goods. So right now she just rolled out the, uh, the the dough, and now she's cutting it into pieces, which will become the wrapper for the jiaozi. All right, this is time to make them skinny and round and flat. Jojo, <laughs> cut. Now, actually making the chowder. All right, so now it's my turn to try to make a jiaozi. I got to tell you, I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I'll give it a try anyway. Um, the last time we did it, I just kind of smashed the edges together and it wasn't all that great. But, uh, okay, here we go. Mama, give me this. How do you say the skin again? Jiaozi pi. Jiaozi pi. Okay, here we go. So there's, there it is right there. I think it's too full for me, but here we go. So you, you start off by, by pinching the top together like that. Then you're supposed to fold in the ends like this. She's much better at that than I am. <laughs> Mine is falling apart. But you're supposed to fold them. <laughs> He says it's okay, but it's not. But you, you, you're supposed to. He, the dough is very, uh, very loose. It's very, uh, very easy to manipulate. So um, you don't want to leave an opening, and I've left an opening here. <laughs> this is gonna die. This is no good. This is no good. Ugh, look, I got stuff coming out. Mama, uh, this is okay. Alright, we're gonna give one more try. One more try. This is it. This is it. Okay. So we go like this. And then I'm gonna do this method where I just kinda go like that. And then pinch off this end. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So this one's better than the last one. Look, Mama, so much faster than I. Mm. But but look, this one's better than the one I just did. Look, looks like a jiaozi, right? Looks all right. I'm ha I'm happy with that. So the history of Jiaozi is quite uh, interesting. There's a number of different theories. Uh, one of the first theories was in the Eastern uh, Han Dynasty, where a, a pr practitioner of, of uh, traditional Chinese medicine uh, used to uh, basically, he, a lot of people were getting frostbitten ears. So what he did was he found, uh, he created, uh, he stewed lamb and vegetables you know, uh, 
different peppers, onions, whatever he could find, really. Uh, stewed them up really nice and then put them into a wrapper uh, with, with some, uh, with like a, like a dough, like a, just a small dough wrapper. And then uh, he fed them to his patients and uh, trying to help them feel better during the uh, season. Now, that may be why jiaozi is commonly eaten during wintertime, specifically during the spring festival, which everyone in the West knows as Chinese New Year. So there's one day of the year uh, where you're supposed to eat dumplings. I think it's the, the winter solstice or something. And you're supposed to eat, the, the, the theory is you eat the dumpling on this day, and that way your ears don't fall off. <laughs> it kind of goes back to the original uh, uh, story I just told you. There are actually three different types of ways people usually cook the dumplings. They will boil them, they will steam them, and they will pan fry them. Now in America, I know I knew something called pot stickers, and that's basically what a jowza is. It's a wrapped up piece of meat and vegetables put on a frying pan and served up hot with some sauce. So uh, that's a very common way that people eat them in the West. In, in China, generally, we get them steamed or boiled. Um, we're going to have them boiled today, so uh, let's go ahead and see how that works out. And we have boiling water. Oh, boy. It's time. They get put in there kind of like a pasta almost, you know, just in there to, to cook up. You got to move them so they don't stick together. All right, everybody. Well, the time has come. The jobs are done. Let's eat. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, so much flavor in these things. I tell you what, I don't know. The parents, they know how to make jiaozi. Jiaozi was the very first thing I ate when I, when I came to China. Uh, basically, I came to China uh, in 2008, and uh, I arrived late at night. The next day, uh, I was really tired, so we didn't go out. Um, the person who, was, who I was working with, brought me to a place that sold jiaozi. Now, I thought, okay, yeah, we're gonna eat some pot stickers, you know? And uh, they came with a massive plate of uh, 30 jiaozi. I was like, that's a lot. But what I ended up doing is I took a bite of the first one and the flavor was so intense, so amazing. I had to have more. And so you know what? Do the same. Oop. Grab this one here. Dip it. Mmm. So good. All right, everybody. If you enjoyed watching this video about Chinese culture, specifically jiaozi, dumplings, pot stickers, whatever you want to call them, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, join the Foo family. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Foo.